So, David, we watched the debate last night. Yes, we did. <clears throat> what are your, your overwhelming thoughts? <clears throat> My overwhelming thoughts would be, for the first 20 minutes or so, Biden looked pretty confident, regardless of what words were coming out of his mouth. Um, then Bernie up the, up the gears a bit, took it up a notch, and it was good. It should have been stuff he'd been doing all along, weeks ago. Um, but I just don't know if it was enough. I think we needed something special to happen, and I don't think something special. I thought maybe at the time when I was watching it, I was like, oh, oh, is this it? Come on, Bernie, do it. But it just never quite fully went to a full knockout, or Biden never actually tripped over his own shoelaces and fell over. So I need any, and, and also, as Carpe just said, he was lying through his teeth the whole way through it. So, like, see if he had to be honest, and if he had to say, yeah, I did say that, or. You know, just the stuff that he lied about. I can't remember all the things, but if he had, if he hadn't lied, then yeah, it would have been a better night. But all that lying, regardless of people fact checking it, no one's going to see the fact checks mostly, so he'll just get away with it. And that's the kind of tactic I think with a lot of politicians. It's, it's a Trumpism in it. Just lie, you'll get away with it. It'll be fine. I'm sorry. Wait so right. yeah, and, and overall, I think Bernie will get a little bit of a bump. Biden will get a little bit of a down tick. And then it'll just go back to where it was a few days ago. Uh, I'm sorry, Hackstock. Did you go with "Hello, Governor"? Is that <clears throat> is that actually what you just typed there? A pox upon thee! Oh, good lord! Yeah, all the English I know is for my grandfather or Renaissance festivals. So, yeah, and I'm probably not getting very current or really good English grammar from a, you know, a Renaissance festival in New York. Yeah, <laughs> probably not really getting that 14th century English dialect experience. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So, so I mean, I watched the debate with you last night and, you know, like like I opened with um, either Bernie really needed a knockout or Biden really needed to shit the bed for for that debate to nationally move the needle. Because to your point, I mean, yeah, Biden talked a lot of shit and Bernie did try to hold his feet to the fire in a couple of them and go to the YouTube, which I loved. Um, oh, yeah. But, you know, now the question becomes, how does the mainstream media cover it? It mm -hmm. is really the only question, because what you're talking about essentially is, you know, is, is Biden's, you know, 70, 70 percent support of, you know, people over 65. Can you chip chip away at that or not? Like, that was really the only question is, do you get to move the needle on on Biden's base? Or did you say enough to get more than you know, 10% of the electorate to be under 25 years old. Like you got to do like one or the other. And I didn't, I, I just, I didn't see it. Like, and, and I'm not being a dick. I'm just, again, like, I'm just, I'm not looking at it as like somebody who wants Bernie to be president. I'm looking at it as somebody who worked in TV and who's worked in politics. Like, that's just how I'm looking at it. And yeah, he didn't like, he, he literally needed to leave Biden's twitching corpse on the pavement last night. And that shit didn't happen. It's a shame, but but again, you know, part of it, I think it's hilarious that part of the narrative is going to be, did you hear Bernie? He sounded so angry. You know, because I'm Jewish and I talk like this. And so for some reason, people think I'm angry, which is kind of ridiculous because I live in Vermont. And all we do is eat pancakes and talk to our neighbors. Like, and like, and like people are like, he's so angry. And meanwhile, 90% of Bernie people are like, like you people are morons. Like Bernie's like the nicest guy in the world. Like he's purposely not beating up on Joe about, you know, have, being in mental decline. Like he keeps calling him my friend, Joe, he keeps laying off him. So Bernie people are like, Bernie, you need to be meaner. And non Bernie people are like that. Bernie is so mean. It's a like, weird thing in it. It's weird. You can't that fucking you've got win. A bunch of people that hate that shit. And we're all like, no, be more fucking angry. It's like, actually there was a thing. Um, Brad, I think it was Brad. Yeah, Brad was saying to me, there was a video that I made, the one about the canvassers, the one that Touring News is in a little bit. And he says to me, this video is a great video, by the way, because Bernie isn't shouting anywhere through it and he's very calm in the whole speech. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of one of the things I hate he's... about it, but it works. But, um, but it just goes to show you that thing, you know, that we have to think about, you know, like, oh, is this going to maybe put people off because he sounds a bit shouty? No. Be more shouty. People should be receptive to that. I think they should. They should. Be. I don't know. I guess some people just aren't angry yet. Yet, 